Um, my name is Patrick Higgins, and this is um, Arkham Asylum. Uh, I've got it kind of torn apart a little bit so people can see inside, but it's completely modular. Um, comes apart into sections. So we got a lot going on in here. Um, all the prisoners are trying to break out. So uh, some of my favorites are Clayface's arm right here and Mr. Freeze in the back corner. Um, let's see. Talk about the, the entrance to the, the build here and kind of how that came together. Uh, well, this was the first thing I made, the Arkham lettering here, because um, I wanted to modify the Lego set of Arkham that I got. Um, and then from that, I just built the gate, and then the fence here, and then the towers. So, yeah, after that, I just decided to build the whole thing. And were you looking at any particular kind of source inspiration from comics or movies or anything for this particular version of Arkham Asylum? Um, yeah, I kind of based it off of the, car the Batman animated series from the 80s and 90s, um, just with the shape of the building. But the idea of him, it being on an island is my own idea. Yeah, I love the, the water technique. How how'd you do those water techniques there around the island? Um, I got about 13,000 blue studs and just stacked them on top of each other and pa made a pattern to make it look like waves. It took a really long time to do, but um, it was it was fun. Mm -hmm. It looks like the roof, you did some studs not on top type of building there. How, how does that work? Does that come off pretty easily? Yeah, it does. Um, it's just, it's not attached to anything, it's just setting, sitting on there. Let's see. So it comes off like that. I've got some lights wired into it, so I don't want to take it completely off. But, and then the rest of the roof pieces just sit on, to, sit on the side, kind of leaning against the walls. Um, let me see if I can put these back on. So you see this, the sections come off easily like that, so you can open it up. Uh-huh. So the whole thing hits, sets together like that. And then the roof pieces go on. Those are just some kind of large uh, plates and wedges and black there to, uh, to create the roof technique? Yes. Uh oh, my gargle kind of got in the way. That's okay. Um, so yeah, that's my Arkham Asylum mock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and well, what's the structure like in the island here? Is you kind of built that up off the the main part of the build? Yeah, let me show you. Um, so all the inside is just built up with uh, just random bricks, and then I got the rock work on the outside, which is my first time doing rock work, and I think it turned out pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not a easy thing to do. The rock work always takes kind of a lot of experimenting, figuring out the way to do the proper slopes. Right. Um, yeah, my dad helped a lot with the rock work because he's done something like that before. Um, so, and he helped me with this section back here, that little sewer area. He did that all of that for me. Um, so. Uh, on the inside, there's one more thing I would like to show you. Let's see. All of the, the cell blocks come out as models. So they all slide out just like that. I've got lights wired in through them right now, but it um, makes it really easy to transport. Yeah, so like you said, it's a very modular type of design, so you can put it up and tear it down really easily. Yeah. So what kind of lights did you use in there? Uh, they're just small LED lights, and I just taped them to the roof and wired them through all the bottom cells. Yeah. Well, I think it's very recognizable. Good job capturing the Arkham Asylum look here, and I love all the action on the inside there with the, the villains escaping. So great job. Thank you. Thank you.